This is a dress, and, and these are coats. So it's a house set up to look like a shop? No, it is a shop. Celine's running a clothing shop out of her house. Aren't you, honey? Looks like it. People are gonna come to her house to shop. What? It's obvious you're doing this to make your girlfriend seem quirky. Super obvious you're doing that. You're wrong. This is Celine's idea, wasn't it? My idea? To quit my awesome job at the truck wreckers so I can sell this crap out of my house? Yeah. Sure was. Greg, just admit your girlfriend's not quirky. Selena is quirky and fragile and is a flower. Wedgie! <laughs> and Selena's hired us to clean a place, so let's get to work. No difference to me. I'm just here to sniff cardigan sleeves. That... That cardigan is bringing back my New Zealand trauma. Didn't we already sort out your New Zealand trauma? No, balaclavas or something. I thought we did. Dr. Mike said I was cured. <laughs> Dr. Mike! Hey, how is Dr. Mike? We had a thing. Guys! I'm still traumatised. I can feel the fuzzy mama personality coming back. Dr. Mike said you're cured. You'll be right. I'm gonna leave this with you. <laughs> this is a bedroom. Ah, oh, you tell him. This is my bedroom. It's where I listen to num nuts fart all night. First believable thing I've heard. I remember. I remember what happened in New Zealand. You already remembered that. I mean what really happened. It was never about the balaclavas. I was fine after the initial shock of seeing so many balaclavas. I went shopping and I bought a black leather skirt. Cute, gothy, but with a flowy cut. She does love a flowy cut. But when I got home, I had the wrong bag. And I couldn't take it back because I didn't have the receipt. That's why you were in hospital? That's why we've had to construct an elaborate fake world around you for the past year? You didn't like a jumper? It was a brown turtleneck. I'm sorry, but I have a neck and I'm not an 80-year-old woman. Don't you see? In that traumatic moment, my mind created a second personality. The jumper. Fuzzy Mama is the evil jumper. You believe me, don't you, Greg? Say yes and I'll smash you. No. Libby, we're not angry. But first it's balaclavas, now it's jumpers. We all spent a lot of time trying to look after you. We thought something terrible had happened. It was a wool polyester blend. Sorry, L-Train. This is too stupid even for me. And I'm wearing a prosthetic second penis. Sorry, Libs. Probably better for you to take care of this one on your own. Oh. Okay. Why do these coat hangers have stupid little cat's ears on them? You made them. Remember, babe? Oh, give it up, Greg! The socks are all mixed up. You thought it would be quirky to sell them individually so customers could choose their own combinations. Typical Celine cuteness. I can't remember half the cack that comes out of my mouth. Does Libby normally bathe fully clothed with a hairdryer? Yes or no? Libby! Oh, watch out! Say hello to Fuzzy Mama and goodbye to Libby. Rat poison! Heads up! How many dangerous things does she have? Looks like it was four. Greg, let me kiss the Greg face. Get over here, butt face. I love it when you ironically call me butt face. It's not ironic. There's definitely a self-awareness to it. Nope. Your girlfriend is not quirky. Greg, help me. Libby. I acknowledge your shopping trauma. I should have believed it from the beginning. Evil jumper named Fuzzy Mama, I banished you. I'm done. Look, you guys keep the house? I don't like it since it turned into a shop anyway. I know, because you are the opposite of quirky. Libby! Say something. Let me kiss the Greg face. I think that can be arranged. Does Celine own the house? Maybe she wants us to take on the lease. We can't afford that. I mean, it's nice of her to say, keep the house, but did she really think through how it would affect us? 